According to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicle, in 1016 the conquering Danish army under King Canute was marauding across England. King Edmund Ironside pursued them into Essex, meeting them in a furious battle at the place called Assenden. Partly through the betrayal and desertion of one Edric Strona, the king was beaten, and there King Canute gained the victory, though all England fought against him. Canute became king of all England in 1020, and in the chronicle then says that in this year the king, Canute, went to Assenden and caused the minster to be built of stone and lime for the souls of those who were slain there. It has long been a bone of contention as to which Essex village can lay claim to be in Assenden, Ashton or Ashingdon. Some even suggested Hadstock. Nowadays it seems to be generally accepted that Ashingdon and the hill on which stands the church of St Andrew was the actual site of the battle. Local legend has long said that no grass or trees will grow on the bloodstained hill where the battle took place which is given the lie since both seem to be plentiful on the hill today. The spirits of the slain warriors are said to haunt the hill, particularly on the anniversary of the conflict. An alternative tradition, based on the battle having occurred instead of Ashton, says that while that village's church was built in remorse by canoe over the graves of the English, his own Danish slain were buried in the actually Roman burial grounds called the Bartlow Hills, once in Essex, but now just over the border in Cambridgeshire. And that piece of information came via Hidden East Anglia, a great site that tells you lots of hidden history about the Anglia area, which is Essex, Norfolk, Suffolk and Cambridgeshire. So it was my decision to return to this site because I'd long planned it after we went there two years ago with Tracy and Ricky, where we got some really good content. So I always plan to go back and this instance presented itself. So this time Paul has joined me again and we have a new guest in the form of Hazel. So watch and see what unfolds. Pat. Is that you, Pat Tate? Are you a man? Right, we, we've got a man here. Yeah. Yes, it's John. John. John Bog. At the moment, this is seen as pendulum. Alright, now I believe we are going to be on the ball. Come on, son. What the f was that? Can you see that? Okay. So. Okay. So. Hello everybody, I'm Adam, this is South Got Paranormal, welcome to the channel. Hello, I'm Hazel Guest. And I'm Paul, hey. And we've got Paul back, who's just Paul? there. <laughs> I'm here. Uh, who was with us uh, at St Margaret's, so uh, yeah, again a little change around, uh, got a new person with Hazel, uh, just come out to see, uh, see what the crack is. Now um, tonight, uh, we've actually come back to, well I have, uh, I've been here before, this is St Andrew's Church uh, in Ashingdon. And those of you who've been on my channel for for some time will remember uh, Tracy Rick and myself coming up here. It's got to be about two years ago now. In fact, it was two years ago because it was literally the thousand year anniversary of this church being built. And we come up on this special date, which is the 18th of October. Now, what happened in 1016 on the 18th of October was a battle happened here that was between the Anglo-Saxons and Vikings. In that instance, uh, the Vikings were victorious. Uh, King Canute himself, although he was a Viking, he did convert to Christianity and he built the church, or, or the original incarnation of the church behind us, to commemorate that. Uh, so, yeah, we've come back tonight, on the, uh, again on the anniversary, to see if we can pick up any more. Is that you? What? Sort of funny sound. Oh, that's my tummy. Probably. Oh, that was you. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, thank, thankfully. Um, yeah, so I just heard a weird noise, it's her tummy. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we basically just come back tonight to see if uh, if we can pick up uh, the kind of activity that we got before, maybe anything different. 
Um, now I've got a few more bits of equipment, a um, bit older, a bit wiser and all the rest of it. So uh, yeah, we're going to see what happens, so stay with us, I'm just going to set a bit, a couple of bits of equipment up and, what was that? Deep. Deep, yeah. I've had water and deep. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get set up and we will be back with you in a moment. And we will be back with you in a moment. And we will be back with you in a moment. Yeah. All right. And I've got my shamanic drum with me to go away. Go away. <laughs> You're telling me to go away. <laughs> no, you can pass it. Flashlight. Flashlight. <laughs> we didn't, they know we've got flashlights on, so obviously yeah. these. So it's just a matter of, you know. How do I use it? Just keep talking. <laughs> keep talking. Love it when it comes through like that. When it says How like, do I use it? <laughs> The devices you keep talking. Can talk, and if you go near these devices, don't speak. Don't come in and speak. Mm -hmm. Any spirits that wish to come forward and talk to us, we bring you love. We Cover. Like. What did she say? Iron. Oh yeah. Are you on? Hi. Iron. Okay, I'm hired. Not iron. hired. That's good. <laughs> um, my yeah, my, my my new one is made out of iron. Did she say hired? Iron. Oh, iron. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah you're, you're hired, you are. <laughs> hired, not fired. Yeah. I've got, um, yeah, the, the, the little um, hammer I've got here. Uh, that's made of iron. Mm. This is what I... This is what I got. Iron. iron. Yeah. So many spirits that are here tonight, particularly if you're of, uh, if you're Viking, if you're Norse, if you come from what we now know as Denmark, Scandinavia, we are inviting you to come forward and come talk with us. There are devices that are sitting here. Obviously you will not have seen them before. Was that you? Yeah, it was you. So we will ask, are there any spirits that are here, if you were involved in the battle that took place on this spot a thousand odd years ago, you can come forward, you can come talk with us. We have got devices which will enable you to contact us. There is a ball just here. If you touch that, it will go off. I don't think you can see that. That's better. Yeah. Right. Um, there's also one behind you. I might put that. I'll put that there. Little teddy bear. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> um, yeah, and you can also touch the teddy bear. There's also a device by the tree. If you wish to walk past it, that will also give us a sign that you'd like to talk to us. If you're willing to contact us. Um, I'm of Norse descent. I come from Viking heritage. So if you'd like to come forward and talk to us, don't be afraid of the light. That's just there so we can see what we're doing. Anyone that wishes to come forward, we are giving you the opportunity to do so. If you fell in, if you was a Viking that fell in battle, Even if you were an Anglo-Saxon that maybe fell in battle and you want to acknowledge that, want us to acknowledge what happened to you, come forward and talk to us. We mean you no harm. We are only here at respect. You can touch the little ball here. The one there. And there's a device by the tree which if you walk past it, it will make a sound and it will light up. That's all it will do. Um, we what's that? We might have a little walk around in a bit. Oh, uh, what's up? No, I want to know if can I really drink water? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's that? Did you hear footsteps? A voice. Or a voice? Would anyone like to come forward, please? We mean you no harm. Anything goes near it, I can see it. Okay.
Hier schon ein Krone. Do we have any Vikings here tonight? Any Vikings that wish to make themselves known? You can come forward, touch any of these devices. Oh, this is going to be me. Go near that, that's what it would do. Nothing more. I saw a spirit. Whereabouts? So, I saw a spirit right there, that cross right there. Okay. Do you know anyone called Ann Bird by any chance? South. Oh, well, that's interesting. 33. Now my magnometer has just gone up when I pointed it set, well. Yeah. Right, so that, that cross right there, mm -hmm. I saw a spirit on the left hand side of it. Okay. Okay. Have you ever heard from Ann Bessie Um, they do it at the, um, when we've done the, uh, the Heathen Collective. We've done some really similar singers there. They're, uh, they're, they're, so they're chanting, but, um, I, ch I actually, I channel it. Okay. I'm hiding in the bush. You're hiding? You're hiding in the bush? Take a take a wander to the left. If you go, yeah, go to my left. That's where I picked up something before. It was like I. Yeah. Oh, sorry. The ones that I've seen. Yeah. Come on, slow coach. <laughs> Rebecca. Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Rebecca. Okay. Hello, Rebecca. I'm Adam. I'm Hazel. And down there is Paul. And we, we, send, we send you Rebecca. Love. We send you love. And we send you light. I mean, you know how we are out of respect for you. Yes. Can you tell us anything else, please? Come on, you sh... What's that? Whoa! Did yeah. you hear that? Yeah. Knock. Um... <sighs> Hello, Rebecca. Yeah, we just had a... Spell. Um, yeah, basically was, basically what just happened, we heard a thump on the, on the bench, um, both balls went off and then the teddy bear just fell over. Okay, that's great, thank you very much. So if you wish to touch them again, that'd be brilliant. What was the last word they said? Was it spell? Yeah. Please feel free to touch any of the devices. They're not there to hurt you. It's just a way of communication. Spell. Yeah. I wonder if it is what you were just doing um, when you're channeling. I wonder if that's what's done that. I just bought, you know, just... It's angelic, my language. Yeah. I need to meet up before out. I suppose that's another word for chanting, really, isn't it? Spell. Yeah. Are you referring to what Hazel just did with the chanting? Uh, angelic light language that mm. I channeled. You should. It's very high vibrational channeling. Spell. Um, yeah, the, um, 
There was a bang on the bench, um, and the balls went off, and the teddy had fallen on the teddy bear had fallen onto the bench. But you've gone quiet again now. Do a little bit. Should I do a little bit more chanting at, um, and see if they if they still say spell? Um, can do. Um, yeah, I think. Yeah, try it again. It'll be a different, be a different one. That yeah, chant. go for it. Yeah. Okay. Some more light language. Okay. I'm not a high, I know. Oh, here, I know. Nah, here. I'm not a high, I know. Oh, here, I know. Nah, here. It's okay. It's okay, you can come forward. You can come forward, it's really, really alright. I'm going to turn it around again. So when I turn around, that's when it. That magnometer goes up when I turn it around. What I'm going to do... Yeah, I might go for a little walk. Okay. Yeah, it's been quiet. Yeah. Oh, we've got a blooming dip here. <laughs> dip, 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 dip. Dip, 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 dip. Yeah. What's setting you off here? Oh. Oh, there's a stick there. There's a big stick there. You can come forward, it's okay. Your cater, do you use your cater? No, that's all right. Sure? Yeah, stick with it. I haven't picked up nothing at all, so yeah. not on it. But I've heard noises. Where, where was the noises particularly coming from? Over here. Right, okay. So, what we're going to do, we're just going to move over okay. there and see if we can uh, get anything else. Probably just leaves rustling or trees moving. It's just, it seems to be that this area around here, I'm getting noises. Yeah. Liar. You got liar as well, did you? Yeah. I've had that for about five, six times. Okay. Obviously, someone's taken some liars. I've had Walter twice, and I've had Mary come through. Mm -hmm. Rebecca. I've had Rebecca again, again. Yeah. Rebecca. What else can you tell us, please? So the magnometer is still, they're still above. Mine's down low. So. Mm. Would that interfere with the, would that go up because of your camera? Well, it should stay, the, it, I mean, obviously this is a fixed rig, so if I turn it, it's still staying up. Suffocate. Who suffocated? So I'm feeling a bit heavy. I might switch over to a uh, night shot. I am feeling a little, a little bit like I'm being watched. Mm. And it's around this area. Yeah, I feel like I'm being watched as well. Not in a bad way. No. 
it's like my mind's telling me, Adam, that someone's doing this, like yeah, like they're curious, like what's going on, sort of thing. Mm. That's just just where I think. Now what we're gonna do? Don't go, don't go where? Where don't you want us to go? You don't want us to come over here. In case you find the lights a bit scary, I'll turn them off for you. Okay, so. Worship. Well, we are at a church, so that is the done thing. Worship. Would anyone like to come forward? Man. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who's the man, please? Mm -hmm. Any Vikings that died in battle here, would you like to step forward, please? Mm -hmm. Someone torch down there, or is that a car? Um, I think that's a car with someone's house. Oh, right, good, that's right. So if you follow the path right down, it goes through a road. That's a duck. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't had a donkey for a long while. <laughs> Donkey in the background, right? I think it's a really bit of donkey. Goodbye. Don't go, come back. You mean no harm? No. Well, that's still high. You see the, 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 you see the magnometer, it's still sitting high. I'm going to run. Mine's the one down the bottom there. Mm. I wonder what they go to make off the light languages by speaking to a snake. What's that? Lady. Yeah. Lady something. Yeah. Can you tell us any more, please? Run away. Why is that? Is that? Lady, run away. No. It's a big different thing. Oh. You can't mix the two together until oh. you ask the six questions and then they answer. Have you still got this one? Yeah. Over here, sir. Yeah. Okay. I just saw a go. Right here. Moved, moved away to the yeah. left. Did you see much of it? There's more of a shadow that okay. moved. I'm seeing more energy moving around. I just saw some energy move around there. Yeah. I might bring my box down as well. Just every time I go there, I'm going to go and get the. Um, if you see um, lights go off, just mm -hmm. just spin the camera around. Okay. Neil. Hill? Did you say Hill? Neil. Yeah. Right. Neil. Oh, Neil. Yeah, it's Neil. There we go. Okay. This is not BLM. <laughs> I'm kneeling. What would you like to do now? <laughs> or is it the name of the person called Neil? It, that could also be a. Cause I don't know if Neil's in. This has got an 850 word dictionary, and that's what the, um, what gets manipulated. Ah, oh, okay. Right, so I'm kneeling. Now, could you respond by touching the little device on the on the stone there? Could you do that, please? 
It will light up and make noises, but that's all it will do. Wine. What's yours? I'll tell you what. We'll do your deal. If you can touch the teddy bear, I'll leave it there for you. If you can touch that teddy bear that's on the floor, I'll, I'll leave it for you. How's that? Run away. I'm not running. <laughs> Why? Why do you want me to run away? Why run away? Why? Are you Anglo-Saxon? You don't... Are you an Anglo-Saxon warrior that died here? Is that your stomach? Yeah. Okay. Wow, oh, wow. I did. I just saw a spirit walk past here. Okay. But the trouble is, as soon as I see it, mm. it is like it disappears. It's moving. Yeah, they do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was that? I know. I heard that. And they're so quick. Oh. What's that? Oh, that's, that's Paul's light. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to hear you ch chant some Nordic, that'd be <laughs> awesome. Because then it wouldn't make me feel such an alien for, you know, channeling light language. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to, as I say, I, I, I sort of listened to it a couple of times, so I just can't remember. Mm. Um, that's it my mother told me, that was the one. Aww. Well, you use Google Chrome, you use this. Gmail, you use... Mm -hmm. Google Maps. Yeah. Caution. Well. Caution. And there was literally crumpling footsteps in yeah. the forest. And I'm like, okay. And it said, traitor, maybe. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> like that. And I'm like, okay. And then I heard this bird, like a crow fly off. And then all of a sudden there was footsteps running in the back. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm going to walk up here. <laughs> <laughs> I said no. Marble Park, I see. Steady course for haven. How many foremen? You many foremen. My mother told me someday I would buy galleys with good oars, sail to distant shores. Noble bark I street, steady cost I said no. haven. How many foemen, you many foemen? Dislike. I said no. She dislikes, she says no. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Callies with good oars, sails to distant shores. Someday I would buy by galleys with good oars, sails to distant shores, send up on the prow. Nine. Sounds like Celtic. Noble bark I Nine. Stew. Oh, really? Nine. Nine. That sounds, that sounds Celtic. What is it? It's, uh, it's an old Norse chant. Norse, that's it, yes. 
And he just went to Google. <laughs> I just saw someone sit on the bench. Okay. But uh, the bench over there, right there. Two benches there, one there. That one. I saw it. I saw someone just sit there. But the trouble is, it's it's they're so quick. Mm. Yeah. Many so some, someone's standing behind you just now. What, someone's standing with me? Behind you just now. Okay. We're going to do that again. I take it that will uh, cause a little bit of a, an upset of certain size. Yeah. Tree. Well, there's plenty of them here. Can you hear that, Adam? What's that? Cough it. I can remember it now. I, can... I just saw a dead animal in spirit. Really? What, yeah. what was it? It was. It looked like a grey kind of fur, sort of maybe the size of a rabbit. Okay. Have any of you got ear rope? No. I've got third eye it's going to ache. So Big I've time. got third eye and head something. Oh my, my ear's going to ache. And and here is starting to ache. So here, here, and here, thank you. It's my ear. I'll give it one more go just for me singing. My mother told me someday I would buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer. Steady course to haven, you many fold. Turn it off. My oh. mother told Turn it off. <laughs> someday I will buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to haven. You many foemen, you many foemen. My mother told me someday I will buy galley with good oars, sail to distant shores, stand up on the prow, noble bark I steer, steady course to haven. You many foemen. <sighs> that was empowering. <laughs> it is. So good for the uh, the uh, freight chakra. Mm. Let's see if they tell me to shut up. This is going to be interesting. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Wish me luck, guys. Okay. So I'm going to channel from my soul. Hum, I hear, I may are. Hum, I hear, I may are. Hum, I hear, I Hum, I Okay. That went right up to uh, halfway there. Well, at least they didn't tell me to shut up. So that's something. <laughs> right, I'm going to, um, I'm just going to use my uh, dowsing once quickly. And... That's when you were singing, that was bouncing right up. That was going up right, which means it's something new. Obviously, it's attracting something. Mm. Right, I'm going to um, do a bit of dowsing wood. Maybe they were liking the good vibration. Probably. That's probably what they were. But no, right. nothing. I've had nothing all night until you started singing. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Two, 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 three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Down here. Mm. There you go, look, there you go. Round right about here. Mm. I can see movement. Whereabouts? There. 
Got to be careful because there's, there's grace here, so... I don't think I should step on it, no. Be respectful where yeah. you stand. Yeah. Basement. Right, um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put that back down. I don't know, maybe I should just keep it here. Mm -hmm. um, right, I'm going to... Um, Is anyone here step forward? Come talk to us. I'm going to give you an opportunity to commute, uh, communicate via a more traditional method than use my thousand words. Any spirits that are here tonight and wish to come forward and talk, could you cross my rods please? There we go, that's just blips. That was this. Thank you very much, that's immediate. Thank you. Could you uncross my rods please? Could you uncross my rods please? That's it. Good, 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 good. Hold on, hold on. Mary. Who? Mary. If you, if you are a Norse spirit, can you cross my words, please? Regret. If you're not a Norse spirit, can you cross my words, please? Look. I'm looking. Okay, so we haven't got no spirit here. Alright, that's different. Thank you. Could you uncross my rods, please? Where am I? You're in a place called Assenden. We now call it Ashingdon. Hmm. Are you Anglo Saxon? Can you cross my rods, please, if you're Anglo-Saxon? Wow. Well, that's different, because last time it was Norse. Oh, look at Yeah, over there. Yeah, I can hear it. I think it makes us look like witches and wizards. Greetings. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was well surprised about that, this meter though. Daughter. <laughs> daughter? daughter. Who's, whose daughter are you? Oh, daughter. Oh, it's Tommy, Tommy Lee, Kevin's been here. Okay. Weird. Very weird. And it's weird, because I'm close, I'm close into you. Hmm. I feel that someone was stabbed here. Yeah. Um, this was the battle, yeah. I think. Right. So um, to I the know. spirit that's just come through to us, yeah. um, we're going to carry on um, with you. Sorry about the. Uh, all right. Okay, spirit, if you're still with us, can you cross my rods, please? There we go. Thank Aww. you. If you could uncross, Hi. please. Excuse Angry me a Saxon. moment. Yeah, definitely Anglo Saxon. And my clear sentience is picking up um, body pain. I feel that they were stabbed in the lower you can see where you're going. abdomen. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Picking up the pain. Hot. Right. Look. Yeah. They're very, very sensitive, so I can pick up all sorts of things. Right. Just pod again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. We're going to come back. We're going to, well, coming back to you now. Can't so I can the, can't can't see the words. That's it. Right. So if I can just confirm, please, that it's, there's Anglo-Saxon with us. Okay. Could you uncross, please? Yes. Yeah, good. Thank you. Are you are you okay for us to talk to you? He was a bit unsure. Seems a bit unsure about us talking to him. Okay. Well, there's nothing to worry about. What ha what happened to you is there's a lot of history that's gone on since then. So you're fine to talk to us. Alright, we mean you no harm. Okay. 
come in peace. We I'm do not. come in peace, yeah, we are love and light. Yeah. So we're here for. So would you be okay for us to talk to you? Still not sure. If you don't want us to talk to you, can you cross my rods, please? No, they're, they're opening it up, which means... He's okay. Yeah, okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll take that you're fine to talk with us, that's okay. okay. Thank you. He's picking up a lot of sensitivity in this area. Mm. If, um... <clears throat> Did you have a sword go through your abdomen? Was you stabbed in the stomach? You can cross for yes or open for no. If you were stabbed in the stomach, can you cross for yes or open for no, please? Well, this one wasn't, so you might be picking up something else. Something else. That's gone no. Okay. No, so there's lots of spirits here. Okay, if you can straighten my rods, please. Thank you. Did you die in battle? You can cross for yes or open for no. Look. Yeah, I'm looking. 30. Just heard something down there. Yeah, so do I. Over there. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's, he's unsure, but Where you're alright. You? You're alright. You're alright. Thank you. Okay, if you can uncross, please. So you did die in battle, but you wasn't stabbed in the stomach. Okay. Um, was it a wound to the head? Look. Where do you want us to look, please? Was, was you hit in the head? Well, that's a yes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can you uncross, please? Look. Okay, you keep saying look. Can you point my dowsing rods to where you're standing, please? Look. Was that you? Yeah, that's me. Okay. You just kicked me bare. Sorry, I didn't see. Okay. If I can ask again, can you point my dowsing rods to where you are, please? So we're looking slightly to the right. Okay. Thank you. Right, so I'm just going to put this down for a minute. So the rods are just literally pointing Look. that way. Um, what I'm going to do is take a walk over there, see if we could pick anything else up. Um, I'm Spirit, I'm just going to ask you one more question. Can you tell me if uh, you were buried here, or if your body's still here, please? Yeah, okay, thank you very much, thank you. Could you uncross, please? And what we're going to do, I'm going to walk over, thank you very much. I'm going to walk over to, in that direction, uh, Spirit. I'm going to have a little device in my hand, it won't hurt you, all it is it will be, um, it will make a noise and it will light up. 
All right. So, bloody hell was that? I know, that's what I, that's what I mean. Adam? Yeah? There's noises over there. Okay. Um, well, my dowsing was just saying to the right, basically. Are they pointing over that direction? Uh, they was pointing over that way. No, no, it was more sort of over this way. Well, I'm just going to put the little light on my head on so I can see one walking. Mm. So, yeah, there's a device in my hand um, which you can touch. Okay. Sean. Sean. School. Grandson. Grandson. It's coming. What's that? What's coming? Okay. I'm excited. I want to go to all different places around the country. Yeah. Um, like beautiful, sacred places. Yeah. And I can bring my other drums with me because I've got spare drums. Okay. Spare you and Paul. Yeah. Look at this. What's that? Looking down here, it said, stop. Okay. Dangerous. Put my foot on that and it moved. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it went <crrr. laughs> Alright. Come off all the noises over here. Down here. Well, we can't go much further. Stop. No, I'm getting stopped now. Amanda. What am I supposed to watch, or what are you supposed to watch? Watch. Watch what? Amanda. I'm sure I'd Amanda come through here before. Amanda. Okay. But mine said watch twice, okay. and yours said Amanda twice. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to go in the head. Someone, someone going to go in the head? don't know. Oh, that, the, when you went off, the, um, that spirit... It's coming. Oh, no. Huh? What's the, uh, I was just about to say, after you went off and I was continuing it's coming. The, yeah. the, the communication, Yeah. Uh, he said he'd been hit in the head. Yeah, I've just picked that up. Yeah, uh, and, he's, and my dozen ones were pointing over here. Grave. And he said he's grave. Grave, yeah. And he said he's, Keep going. And he said his body's here. Yeah. What was his name? All of a sudden, I, that I didn't get. Um, Gun. All of a sudden, Gun. I've got a thumping pain right here. Right, okay. so it'd be one of the older graves. Yeah. Okay. And it's and it's yeah, going, it was, it was going picking up someone else's pain. He was hitting the head with an axe. Yeah. Um, and he said he was over here. Um, the Anglo-Saxon won't have a stone because oh. he, he he died a thousand odd years ago. We we didn't start doing this until Ooh, early night. We we didn't start doing this until the sort of late eighteenth century. You're getting off there, there's big holes there. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> That's a massive hole there, look. Okay, Spirit, if you're still with me, and we're in the right place, can you touch my device, please? Ah, oh, Spirit. Sister. Sister? Yeah. Yes. Bathroom? Yeah. Let's take a look. Yeah, I've got a nice bathroom. School. Okay. Oh. Keith, fire. Yeah. Oh. Sister. Oh, no, no, Sister. You've got sister? Yeah. I've got yeah. sister. Okay. Adam, uh -huh. yours said sister and so did mine. Okay. Key from fire. Was someone burnt? Yeah. Keith. It's alright, it's be fine setting that off. Alright, I think we'll take a walk back up to the bench and. Lock it. <laughs> that one? 
thing and I think I feel like someone in this area got stabbed here because it's so intense here. Mm. Well, as I say, you've got to bear in mind that the battle that took place here. There's loads of people. Yeah, um, uh, that have got wallops any which way. Yeah. Stabbed with a soul, axe, whatever. I'm picking, up, I'm picking up pain here and now in the throat, throat. So I feel yeah. that someone's been. Had the red chopped off. Yeah. Slip by the throat. Right, okay, let's go. Right, so there we go everybody. Uh, it's great to come back to this site after two years. Um, we've got uh, different content this time. And uh, whereas in the first visit to this place, uh, as you remember with Tracy, Rick and myself, I dropped the link and you can watch the first one that we came here. Um, this time we, uh, I got an Anglo-Saxon uh, guy that came through, um, who obviously perished here unfortunately. Um, Hazel felt the hit to the head, which is uh, what came through on the dowsing rods uh, when I asked how how he succ uh, succumbed. Um, obviously asking whether he got hit in the stomach, which he didn't, and I said, was it in the head? And he went, yes. So, um, yeah, along with the other bits and pieces we've got here, we've got photos to go through, and I've got me EVP recorder to uh, listen to as well and see if we've got anything on there. So, thanks very much for watching, everybody, from Hazel, Paul and myself. Uh, we wish you all love and light. Thank uh, you, God. Yeah, and God bless you all. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.